Welcome to the Long Room, Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. What are we doing today? Uh, today we have quite a haul to do. It's going to be a two-week haul, um, and we are starting at Aldi. All right, let's get to it. I am grabbing one of these. One of the reasons why is because there's tahini in it, and I've never had tahini, and I want to try it. So I'm grabbing that. It's on sale. I'm also going to grab a bag of avocados. Um, I let these ripen and then I actually go ahead and mash them down and put them in the freezer and then use them as smoothies and stuff. So that is a great option so that you can get them when they're on sale. Like this, $2.69 for six. Then you can just mash them down and keep them in the freezer. You don't have to worry about them going bad because they're frozen and you don't want to have to worry about wasting them. I'm also going to get some cherub tomatoes. I have actually going off the list a little bit here, but um, I am trying to eat a little healthier, some salads, avocados, smoothies, things like that, than I have been the last couple of weeks. Just how it is during the holidays, but I'm making a conscious effort to make sure that I have good fresh produce in the house. So $2.39. Okay, we need some Velveeta. I'm going to look in, I'm going to check against the Walmart app, but this is $4.49 for um, two pounds. Okay, another thing that is an Aldi saver this week is some mandarin oranges. And I can tell you that this is a really good price in our area for them. I'm going to go ahead and grab one bag so I can be snacking on that this week. Okay, uh, recently we had uh, turkey and wild rice soup. So that means that we used up our long grain and wild rice mix and we always keep one in the cabinet just in case we decide to make chicken and wild rice soup we need one can of rotel tomatoes um 85 cents per can i'm grabbing one thing of chicken broth i like to keep one that's already prepared and stock in my house just in case i use it for anything and i use some for uh on thanksgiving day i'm grabbing some more pecans uh, we need that for some recipes and we're also grabbing whoops, a bag of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips and they're $1.99. All right, as always, I did not record near the refrigeration system, but we got four cream cheeses. We'll put the total, we'll put the prices of these things on the screen. Huh? $1.59. I think it was $1.59 last time, so it probably was $1.59, but we'll put the prices on the screen in case we're wrong. And then we got the ricotta, or the ricotta, mm -hmm. according to $2.29. We got some butter, $3.98, no, yeah, $3 and we got some crescent rolls. Uh, we know that Aldi makes a generic brand, but we have actually tried those and they come apart. Yep, they're sticky. So they're sticky and they kind of rip and get holes in them. So um, this is one of those things that we find that the brand name is just superior. Um, don't remember, 324, I yep. think. And eggs. 317. 317. Uh, eggs have just gone up everywhere. So there you go. Um, I think, I think that that is all. I think we showed everything else inside the store. Um, and, uh, we will, uh, put the total on the screen in just a second. We're going to move on to another store so that we can get some more stuff. Okay. We didn't record this in the store, but we did run into Bravo supermarket. Some of you may have a Bravo in your area. Um, but we don't go in there a, a lot, but we do keep an eye out on meat deals because, uh, they will put some of their meat on sale and that is where we really think you get, uh, good, great deals at Bravo supermarket is with the meat deals. So this is leg quarters and it was 59 cents per pound. We have done that before and just separated the leg quarters into different packs and then only pull it out. So, um, so there's three of us that live here. We would put three leg quarters in each bag 
uh, in each pack and separate them so that this would last probably four or five different meals. And since it's a 10 pound bag, it was 59 cents per pound. That's $5 and 90 cents for like four meals. And you can just throw some baby red potatoes and some broccoli on a roasting pan while you're actually roasting or grilling the leg quarters. It's really easy to do that and it goes a long way. We found this, now we had checked the circular and that's why we went in because what we were expecting to find was $1.99 per pound on boneless skinless chicken breast. As you can see, it does not say that on the label. So we asked them about it and they uh, over did an override and charged us $1.99 <laughs> per pound because that's what their circular said. And then this one was just on sale, it's on clearance. So it was $1.99 for $80.20. Um, so that was a really great deal, uh, but that was not a sale in the circular. I just saw the little sticker <laughs> and said, oh, let's see. So, turn that, you see? It says $1.99 per pound. So uh, that was all of our Bravo haul. And uh, we actually may go back and get some more in a few days and the reason why we're doing this is you know we got the deep freezer where we're stocking it up so that uh when we find meat on sale we're stocking it up so that we can get the best price and fill our freezer at the same time all right so there's our uh aldi haul and now we're heading and also our bravo haul. yeah and bravo and now we're heading into walmart yep. so what we got two yep. of the pizza flavor pringles dollar oh. 96 We're getting one box of Nilla wafers. They're $4.58, and that's the last box. We're also getting one of the honey grams. It looks like the price is right there, $1.98. They have one of these, and that's what I'm going for right here. Peppermint is really good for um, skin health. All right, we got some spicy hot smoked sausage for some recipes, and it was a $4. It was four dollars and thirty cents. Well, actually, it said three eighty-four on the sticker, but when we scanned it, it said four dollars and thirty cents. So you know, we're getting some unbleached flour, and it's two dollars and twelve cents for the bag. Hopefully, <laughs> is it dollar ninety-six? Mm -hmm. And we got one jar of marinara sauce. We use that for pizza sauce. It's a dollar ninety-six for the jar couple of cents cheaper than what they sell it at Aldi for the organic. This is not organic, but it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. So I get that generally since it's a little cheaper. And as always, $1.47 for the French bread that we buy our son so that he can make his own French bread pizzas. Grabbing one sweet potato for myself for a lunch meal. Oh, I also forgot to mention that we got two bags of broccoli and they were $2.22 for each bag. So we have one more stop, Sam's Club. These are the things that we got at Sam's Club. Uh, I got actually two cases of this. I had an inbox dollar rebate. That was $5 off the one. And if you bought two on the same receipt, you'd get $12 back. Uh, they did not give me $12 back. They gave me $5 back. So I sent them an email asking them to review that, but at least it's $5 back on it. Um, and that brings it down a little bit lower than Pepsi's. He did not need Cokes this week uh, or soft drinks. It wasn't like the time for us to buy it. But since I had a rebate that was going to disappear, I decided to go ahead and get that. Then we have pepperoni. Uh, our son, you know, makes French bread pizzas and we also make homemade pizzas. So we buy them in bulk. Uh, and we buy mozzarella in bulk as well for the exact same reason. And then we buy bacon. And uh, by the way, I'll put the prices on the screen here. Um, the bacon is a three count and it's also, they're a full pound, I think. Isn't that right? Yeah, they're full pound packs, uh, full one pound packs. Uh, so we buy those in bulk as well. And then we go ahead and bake some and put them in the freezer and then use it like ready cooked bacon. And so we got that, and that was all that we got at Sam's Club. 
And that is all for this haul. All right, so there's our haul from Sam's Club and Walmart, um, Walmart and, Aldi and Aldi and Bravo. So we went to four places today. That's right. But and, it was a huge stock up haul, yep. and we're just we we're trying to fill up our freezer. Yep. So. So here's what we spent at Sam's, and then Walmart, Aldi, Bravo, and that's the total. And then this is the total we have uh left over for the rest of the month and that's uh, based on a 600 dollars budget for three adults that's right all right so let's head on to our meal plan all right uh so we normally start out with our sunday meal we're not eating at home we were invited to someone's house yep uh, <laughs> which is so sweet so okay. so then we're going to do uh, low carb taco soup and remember if you see a a recipe alert button then you know that that's already on our recipe playlist but if you don't see that you can vote on it for the recipe of the week and this is one that you can vote on yeah for the recipe of the we've week. never done we've never done it all right uh right now we are doing desserts in the month of december but come january we will come back with our normal recipe of the week videos that you get to vote on so go ahead and vote on them we'll be going back to these videos to see what recipes y'all wanted to see yes all right so then we're gonna have leftovers and then we're gonna do chicken roll-ups. Uh, then we're gonna have like, we're just gonna have a relaxing party food night. Uh, we are re recording some recipes for that night that we will use on an upcoming video. But we're also just, we're gonna like have, watch Christmas movies and have party foods. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do homemade pizza the next night. So, and then we have a pulled pork coming up which is something that we use to make meals for like six or seven meals in advance and we put it in the freezer and pull it out whenever we feel like eating pulled pork so we'll be making it and then we'll be distributing it into our freezer bags and yep. stuff so. and then we'll have leftovers from that then we're gonna have a spatchcock chicken and then we're gonna take the leftover chicken from that and do rotel chicken soup and we are pretty convinced that we have the recipe down to what it what we wanted it yep. to be so you can vote on that we will record it this time yep then we'll have leftovers from that and then we're gonna have a uh, cheesy sausage and potatoes recipe we've shown that before on the channel yep and then we'll do homemade pizza and we're gonna have leftovers from that uh, sausage and potatoes meal all right, so drop us a comment below and let us know what you'd like to vote on for the recipe of the week. If you have a recipe that you'd like for us to try, drop it in the comments below as well. If we don't try, if it's not something we eat, then we'll link a, we'll link a video to it from another channel right. um, so, that you can, so that you can see it made. Okay? Yeah, because there's a few things that we just won't eat or maybe it just seems a little too expensive yep. for our taste, but there's a recipe of somebody who's already done it. And yep, that's right. <laughs> So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for updates. We upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekend, sometimes in between. You just kind of never know when we're going to drop one in there. But with that said, that's going to do it today for The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget it's The Long Run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.